Well, I got two besties out here doing farm chores with me this morning. They think it's great. It's about 48 degrees outside. We're gonna need some coffee for this. Don't tell us to we're drinking coffee without him before him because he's not awake yet. Uh, Kendra, Kendra told me that uh, Eugene needed to move, so uh, Eugene's kind of come apart a little bit about that. We gotta this put him back crazy. together. Here's what tiny little things are left of me. Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. Are you ready for a party, baby? <laughs> Well, hey y'all, it is prom prep day. Lester has been working super hard today and got some of this area set up. And I picked up Xander and Kendra from the airport. We made two stops on the way home. And now we are figuring out how in the world we will all convert to be DJs tomorrow. Xander is figuring out the PA system here. I have to work on the lights. It's a big day. And we're really excited. Mostly because they're here. Yeah, it's a good day. It's coming together. We're like fancying it up this year with covering things up. And it's like we're trying to fake that it's a shop. As long as nobody takes any video or picture of the top, we look, or the bottom, we look like we're doing good. Uh, Kendra, Kendra told me that uh, Eugene needed to move, so. Uh, Eugene's kind of come apart a little bit about that. It's been a day, but it's been an awesome day. And we are dang close to being prom ready. Xander set up our PA system and got the microphone working, got all the speakers connected. He wired it so that there's no way anybody can trip and got that all set up. We have the bar ready. We have coolers plugged in. We have tables prepped for food. Food will not be here till tomorrow. Prom 2024. Oh yeah. The carpets rolled out. The red carpets rolled out. We have our red carpet backdrop, our custom backdrop, which was like, hmm, so excited. So very excited. The dogs are here and really pumped about that there's carpet back. So like, hey mom, it got cold last night. Even though they sleep in the house, like they think that this is all for them as you can see. And I have one more thing to show you. Are you ready for a party, baby? <laughs> no, she isn't ready. Good morning. Yeah, it's about six o'clock on prom day. Are you ready for this day? You ready for this day? Yes, she's like, I know that Sanders in the RV, and I want to go outside. Are you ready for this day? Anyway, I'm up early because I'm always up early. Not like my mother up early, but I'm up early because I have to feed babies and babies and my baby. And I thought you might want to come along because I have two errands to run this morning. Um... I am going to first feed some goats and get them outside. Go ahead and feed up the babies, like the animals, which is very early for them. Um, we haven't been doing it until daylight, just because, but it's okay. And then I promised my kid breakfast from town and Chick-fil-A opens at six. So we'll do this for a few minutes, run to town, and then I have to go to Lowe's and be back here in time to go live. Hi, Fifi. Did you watch everyone? Good morning, Stella. Millie already made her way out, too. Hi, baby. Hello. Anyway, come on. It's prom day. Let's get going. Hi, baby. I love you so much. I love you so much, baby. I love you so much. Let's go. We're going to need some coffee for this. Don't tell us to we're drinking coffee without him before him because he's not awake. I never really thought to look at the moon when I planned prom dates, but uh, that's probably gonna. We're not gonna. We're not gonna talk about that. My babies are up. Good morning, Sawyer. Good morning, Pollyanna. Oh boy, are you 
ready now? Okay. Well, I got two besties out here doing farm chores with me this morning. They think it's great. It's about 48 degrees outside. I got, hold on. Horses are fed. And ponkies. Now I just gotta do the donkey. Stella's watching guard. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't wake up Dinky. Okay? It's gonna be a good day. Round one of errands is complete. And now we must head to Lowe's. My windshield is disgusting. If I had more time, I would have ran through the car wash, but ain't nobody got time for a clean car today, I guess. There comes that sun. It is crazy to me how awake I feel being up so much earlier than normal. And I have to attribute that to Xander being here. I have to say that like, I don't wanna sleep. I want to embrace every single minute of him being here so running to get things while they're sleeping is like yeah I'll do that because I I want to maximize my time and that's what we're gonna do today so one more stop at Lowe's then we're headed home hopefully people will be starting to move around whenever I get back and we can get this day kicked off it's gonna be a good one you know you've made it to Lowe's early if you beat the garden center to opening. It's gonna be a good day, y'all. Come on, let's get some centerpieces and get back home. This is kind of crazy. Here's what tiny little things are left of me. Oh, God, that scared the hell out of me. Okay, well this is what's, that's never turned on before, okay? <laughs> what's left of Halloween, but look at all of the Christmas stuff up already. That's crazy talk. That literally scared me. I'm not making that up. I really like it. I like this right here. Problem is there's only two. So then I'd have to find something comparable to put on my other two tables. And then I like to give them to the ladies to take home as their little gifts, you know? I guess I could just do these simple ones. They're pretty cute. On the road again Just can't wait to get back home again The sun is up, I have breakfast in my car And I can't wait to get home again Here we go! Alright, some of the fun parts of the party are about to begin So, I have always called these things bounce houses, what do y'all call them? Yeah. What else do you call them? They call them moonwalks here in Texas. Oh. I'm like, a moonwalk? Most of the time, like, kids are jumping and going crazy in them, but they do. They call them moonwalks. So, this one is an obstacle course. And it's big enough for adults, I'm just saying. I've never opened one of these in my life or put one together and have no idea, but I'm really excited that... Yes, make sure you do it outwards. So we are learning together and really grateful that Xander and Kendra are here to help me with this. It's gonna be a good day, y'all. So I'm actually surprised. I thought this was gonna be the smaller of the two bounce houses and it turns out my obstacle course doesn't look so obstacle-ish today. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. Xander's figuring this all out ratcheting things tight and about to crank it up. Oh boy. All I want to know is who do you think is going to be the first adult to get into one of these tonight? Well, close her up, Xander. Apparently that's how you let it all out later. It's gonna be bigger than I thought. Um, we're 
we might have gone a little bit bigger than I thought that we needed to go for the record. Maybe. Whoopsie. Oh my gosh, it has a basketball hoop. The kids are gonna love this. It's gonna be so fun. Stella, sweetheart, this one's not for you, my love. I'm so sorry. Stella wants to go in so bad. What a neat thing. Yeah. We're basically like carnival ready. See, it's coming together. Lester just grabbed the centerpieces out of the car. Aren't they beautiful? That Dr. Pepper is not a centerpiece right there. We got both bounce houses ready and we tried them out. They're kid safe. Yep, that's perfect. I'm sure that you will win the blind dance just like that tonight. Hey, if that Australian girl could compete in the Olympics, then I can do the kangaroo too. <laughs> Babies. Yeah, he's wearing tanny goggles and practicing for the blindfold dance right now. It's perfect. It's totally perfect. What are you doing? Where are you going? What's wrong? I didn't know you were videoing. Oh, okay. <laughs>